uh, I'm going to show how to set up uh, from scratch Semantic Media Wiki and the RF IO extension. So starting from the Google Code page, we will find the wiki page that install all. Uh, and uh, then what we, we are said to do is to create a database. So we go on privileges and add a new user because we can then choose to create the database with the same name at the same time. There, there it was. And we are ready with this. And then what we want to do is to create a folder for, the, for MediaWiki. And there we go. And there we want to check out MediaWiki. This will take some time, so we prepare for next step. We want to make the config uh, directory writable. So we're just waiting. There we go. And uh, now we are told to go to our wiki and run the setup. And we give some la some uh, title. Just for sure. That's all that is needed. And there we go. Now we are told to move the local settings file from the config folder to the local file, local folder. And then we can start using the wiki. But what we want to do is to uh, browse into extensions and there remove the subversion settings folder because we want to check out another repository here namely Semantic Media Wiki there we go then we want to add some lines to local settings and then we can log into the wiki And then access a special page and initialize the tables and then we are done and then we continue we can still reside in extensions because there we are going to check out SMV, SMW writer and page object model which that one depends on and then we need to patch SMV writer so we log and uh, browse into that folder and uh, download the patch and then apply the patch and then back into the extensions folder we make the folder for the RDF IO extension itself unfortunately it's not the folder is not included in the repository <coughs> so and then we check out code from the Google repository and add some settings to local settings again Okay, there were there was one step still for um, semantic media wiki, and that is to download the Arc library and 
untar it there. And we might remove the, the file there. And now we are still told to log in and we have done that already. And we add this snippet with the quick links to the functionality of the RDF IO extension. And the first one is this one to, to set the arc store up. And then we can, yeah, then we're done. And then what we can do is to try to add some test data. We create a page and put a property here. User admin is the, the page for this user. And then we can go to the Sparkle endpoint and see if there's any triples in the in the wiki. And indeed, there is. Then we can try to add uh, edit the facts for this page just to see that th this works as well and we go like this we need to use underscores hello right and recent changes and yeah, indeed. So, it works. That's it.